Welcome to Julie's Wreath Boutique. Guess what? We're not making a wreath, but we're gonna do something really crafty. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how I take this green cabinet and we're gonna transform it like I did my kitchen cabinets, which I'm super, super loving them. I cannot tell you how easy the process was and how just durable the product is. I have little kids, I can wipe off the cabinets and it's not an issue. But let me show you the easiness of this product. So we're going to rethink this cabinet with Rethunk Junk by Laura. And that's what I love about her products. I love the fact that I can take an old piece of furniture and redo it. And that's what I need as a mom, because let's, be, let's face it, our kids are hard on our furniture. So I really don't wanna go out and buy new things. So a few years back, I painted this cabinet green at the time, I thought it was a good idea. Now, it doesn't go with anything in this kitchen. So let's redo it. Let me tell you what we're gonna use. I'm gonna use the cotton Refunk junk paint, and then we are going to use the Black Pearl Wax Alternative Sealer and Hardener. This is what's gonna make the details in the front of this cabinet pop. We're going to use the prep. I'm gonna spray it on, wipe it down with a towel. That's all we have to do. There's no sanding. There's no um, deep cleaning. This product does it all. And then I'm gonna use a three inch foam roller. As you can see, I've already started a little bit. And I have this Wooster angled brush and I will leave the link in the um, description below on how to get your own brush. So let's get started and see how easy this truly is. All right, the first step, no sanding involved, no mess. Just, you're simply gonna spray this prep on, which I've already sprayed it on, just real easy. You're gonna let it sit for maybe a minute or two. If you, when I was doing my kitchen cabinets, I will tell you, I let it sit for a little bit longer. And the reason why, there was such a world of difference from the, let's just be honest, the filth on the cabinets from cooking, especially by the stove top. There was so much difference from here to here. And the stuff, my rags were just filthy. And it was like embarrassing because I'm like, I take care of my kitchen. But it's amazing how much stuff gets on our cabinets if you're painting your cabinets. So what I love about this product is that this cleaner, you can use this cleaner to, I've used it on clothes to get out stains even, but you can use it on non-painted surfaces as a regular cleaner as well. But, um, so I just sprayed it on and all we're gonna do is simply wipe it off with an old rag. And once we wiped it off, like you can see a little green residue, it's pretty much ready to paint. That's it. So I've already painted, or not painted, but I've already sprayed the front and the sides and I even painted a little bit. And this is already dry to the touch. It, it dries so quickly. And that's one of the reasons why I love this product is that you can take a piece of furniture like that's not too big and you really can have a finished product in an afternoon easily. So I'm just gonna finish wiping this down and I'm gonna just show you how we're gonna put the paint, the first coat. Now I just simply put some on a plate here so you need to be a little careful that you don't spill this. And I'm just gonna use a roller simply because I wanna get the paint on the product or on the piece of furniture, let's be honest here. So if you're wanting to watch somebody perfect who says the right things, that's just so not me. So <laughs> I'm just a mom wanting to make my old things nice again without spending a ton of money. And I really think maybe we can get away with just two coats with this, we'll see. I'm not really sure because of the green. That's really the issue here is the green but I'm just going to get it on here and then I will take my paintbrush to do the sides. And as you can see, I'm all going, I'm going in all one direction. I don't want to um, like go here and here. I'm just taking it all in one direction. Pretty easy. And then you can even go like this and then we'll go back with our, we'll just go over here. Can you see me do that? I can't, but 
but I think we got it pretty much. So I will take my little brush. I love this brush. As you can see, it's been well loved. I used it on all my cabinets. I made sure I cleaned it properly with soap and water. You can even, the, the prep will also clean these brushes. It's amazing. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and just go over the sides here and just make sure we get it all. And there we go. That's the first coat on the top. Now I'm gonna change the angle of the camera and we're gonna do the front. So now we're going to work on the front of the cabinets. And again, I'm gonna take my two rollers and really you can't do this wrong. You do it the way you like it. And that's really the best way to do it. So I'm gonna just get it on here. And that's really what I'm wanting to do is to get that paint on. I'm looking to see. And you can start to see the detail of the cabinet. And this is like a, this folds out and this one folds out. And I'm not going to do the inside of the cabinets because honestly, I do have knobs that go on here and I won't, I won't have it sitting out like that because it's in a very high traffic area in my dining room and I don't want anybody to get hurt with the thing, the lids kind of hanging out. I don't think it's really called a lid, but you know, whatever works. So as you can see, it doesn't take much to get on here. And that's one of the things I like about this product is that it doesn't take a lot of paint. That's pretty much it. And then I would just take this, put a little bit of paint on it, and I would go through all the little cracks just to make sure that there is no paint kind of pooling in those cracks. And you can even take a dry brush and that'll pull out the paint as well. So yes, the first coat looks like a hot mess, but that's okay. The first time I did these kitchen cabinets up here, I was like the first time I'm like, this is a hot mess, but the end result is so worth it. I will paint the rest of this and I will get back to you. Okay, so as you can see, we have one coat on the whole piece and um, literally it dries within, it dries to the touch within 10 minutes basically, but I would wait till about 20 minutes to put the second coat on. So I'm going to put the second coat on and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do a third coat. Because this had a dark green paint, I really feel like a third coat is gonna be necessary. If you were using a dark color, I think two coats would be plenty, but this is a resin paint, it dries from the inside out, and so if it is dry to the touch, it is ready to be painted again. So, this is a project that I started about an hour ago, and I've already put the two coats on. I put the third coat on the top and on the sides and on the legs. So what I'm gonna do right now is just do the front of it. Now let me just share with you how little bit of paint I used. I only used, let me put this down, um, about that much. I went maybe down to that level of a quart. So what's my point, Julie? What, is, what are you getting to? You don't need a lot of paint. And that's what's amazing about this product. My link will be in the description if you'd like to order. And what I'm saying is if you have a piece about this size, you could get the eight ounce, because this is 32 ounces, you could get the eight ounce um, paint size. I believe there's an eight ounce. So if there isn't, maybe it's a smaller, maybe it's a little bit bigger, don't quote me on that. But my point is buy the prep, buy a small thing of paint, and buy either the tough top or the wax sealer, and it doesn't have to cost a lot of money to transform a piece of furniture. So let me just show you how we're gonna put that third coat on right now. I'm just gonna take my brush, and I'm just gonna go through the cracks first. And just needed that third coat. That's all it needed. And it was just enough. And after this, I'm gonna let this probably dry more like for a half an hour after this. 
And then we will put the wax. It's not wax. It's not wax. I need to tell you what it is. It is a sealant, but it's a wax alternative. And that's all you're going to do, guys. It's so easy. Now, this is an old piece. This is going to have, this is not a perfect piece of furniture. And I'll put my knobs back in where it goes. They have like the gold looking knobs. And you know how gold is kind of making a comeback. And yes, I'm just painting over the um, hinges too. Because actually in this piece, it looks like years ago, they had to repair it and move the hinge over. So again, let's go through these. Make sure we get all those little cracks and crevices. Um, yeah, it's just so easy. That's what I love about it. This is what I loved about doing my cabinets. It was just so easy. So I will finish this up and we will come right back. All right. So at this point, we have three coats on, and we're going to take our, I've already put a little bit on, I've taken my furniture and cabinet wash, and this is the Black Pearl, and it's a wax alternative sealer and hardener for your product. So basically what this will do is once you put it on, um, you can either let it sit there if you like the looks of that, or you can wipe it off, which is what I'm going to do, because I just want a very little effect. I don't want to change the piece too much, but I want to give it a little bit of character because I'm not going to sand this piece or you know how you can sand the edges and kind of um, make it feel more rustic because there's green paint underneath. So we don't need to see the green paint. So all I'm going to do is put some on and like you, if you like the look of this, leave it the way it is. And then I'm just going to take an old rag we also have um, some sponges that you can get from Refunk Junk and use those as well. And I'm just going to, to rub it off, basically. And that's all I'm gonna do. And I have a few spots here. I probably should have went all the way from one side to the other, and I didn't do that, but that's okay. I'm just going to rub it in. And let me tell you, the finish is already really smooth. This is not like chalk paint. You know how chalk paint has that kind of hard finish and it's kind of a flat surface? This is not what you're gonna get with this paint. Um, and that's what's important to me is the finish. So we're gonna do the front of it and I will show you that in a minute. So I'm not sure how well you can see the aging process, basically what this alternative wax will do. I know that I've done um, other chalk painted pieces and when I have done them I've had to use a wax and then you have to use your elbow grease to get it smooth enough which is you know I can remember my arms hurting to no end the next day so this is what I like about these products is there's no elbow grease in this I'm still going to get a really nice finish so again I'm just going to put a little bit on my brush and then I'm just going to wipe it on I'm going to go from one side to the next Go all the way across. I'm gonna do it pretty quickly too. Just a little bit faster. Oh, I put too much on there right there. That's okay. We're gonna get it. I'm not gonna let it sit. I am not a professional furniture painter, and I know there's probably people with a lot more experience than I do have, but I'm just kind of showing you how the, a normal person who's not a, a cabinet painter or a furniture painter, you know, who can do this, you know, it is possible to, to rethink what you've done. So I'm going to use this pad is what they have in their shop and I'm going to use it. Oops, <laughs> it wasn't closed all the way. I'm gonna go all the way across here. And as you can see, it gives it a nice soft gray look. And we almost did this on our kitchen cabinets, but I wasn't really going for that, that worn out look. And with this piece, I really feel like it really needs it. And what I liked about it too, is that I can't take a buffer and like distress it. 
but I can do this and it kind of antiques it and this kind of makes the whole, you can see the, the detail, maybe not as great in the camera, but I can see it in person, but I think you can see it pretty good. So at this point, you just let it dry and you're, you're done. There's nothing else to do. I will leave a link in the description for this paint and I will leave all the colors that I used. But thank you for joining me today as I literally refinished a piece of my furniture in less than two hours. So I will put this over where it's gonna go and I will put the knobs on it. I will finish this and the sides and we're done. So I'll get myself in the picture here. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.